Hi guys, it's Randy Hatata here in Expand Realty. And another question that we get asked a lot is, is it a good idea to buy a rental property here in Las Vegas? In other words, do you want to be an investor here in Las Vegas? I believe that it does make sense. However, a good real estate uh, practitioner can give you good insight into what would make a good investment and if it works for you. And so there is a cross between area and mathematics um, and the future of Las Vegas. And all of this can be shared with you again from a good practitioner. As far as investing in Las Vegas, I believe in the long term future of Las Vegas because basically the laws of supply and demand will go back to the simple basics. And we have very low supply, not a lot of land left, not a lot of water left, which might stop building, um, not a lot of housing left. However, we have high demand of people moving to Las Vegas. There's a huge migration and the housing is needed, whether it's for purchase or for rentals. So with that, the rental arena is the strongest it's ever been. Sorry, renters, that means a lot of competition for you guys. But for you investors or future investors, um, we are getting higher rents than we've ever seen before. We're getting frenzies of applications for rental properties and all rental properties um, as far as what we know as a company are renting very quickly and if they're not renting then it's usually based on condition or it being overpriced because everything's renting with that when we look at numbers um, as far as is it a good time to buy or is las vegas the right place to buy most of our sophisticated investors are looking at cash flow with the potential for appreciation but the emphasis is on cash flow and that's important guys and what that means is that you're either going to have a positive or negative cash flow. Here in Las Vegas, you can probably expect a positive cash flow. And that's what we would guide you and paint you a picture about. And based on this positive cash flow, it simply means that you're getting more rent than the expenses you have, including your mortgage, including property management, HOA fees, taxes, insurance. Um, at the end, you're going to get a net uh, positive cash flow. We call it a cap rate, we call it return on investment, ROI, but most investors today are buying on return on investment or positive cash flow because wherever the market is today and wherever it goes, they're pretty much banking that they're going to get that positive cash flow. Now in the future, it will affect them when it's the right time to sell because that's when they'll cash in and hopefully get appreciation on a normal basis um and this is just for today's averages um as a company we're averaging probably about three to five percent positive net cash flow on a good investment with the potential appreciation of unknown but we do know that based on the prices we're buying today you'll be getting x amount positive based on the formulas that we're running behind the scenes so if you're interested in anything like that, um, it might be a good idea. We also have a lot of investors today uh, coming in, hedging against inflation because we know the dollar is getting weaker by the day. And the second thing is that if you're gonna do it, you might wanna talk to a lender sooner than later because we are seeing some volatile interest rates. We just seen a jump uh, within the last two weeks in interest rate. I do think that there's gonna be some adjusting for the better if you're a buyer, but that's not a critical thing that will affect your cash flow. So the name of the game, again, I said it multiple times is cash flow. And if you'd like to know more about that, please um, just reach out to us, subscribe to our channel as well, um, and ask us any questions or concerns that you may have, and we will deliver you the answers, hopefully for you to make good decisions. Other than that, take care guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, look forward to seeing you soon.